Hello all, welcome to Global Tech Hub. Today I am planning to show how to integrate DB2 in a MuleSoft ESP. So for this we should have MuleSoft ESP tools like Anypoint Studio, Mule ESP Server and DB2 should be available uh, as a pre-request. So let me start it here. So I have opened Anypoint Studio. Let me create a uh, project, new uh, mule file uh, project. So we can um, create a mule project here and select it as a mule server enterprise edition. And I have given project name as integration iPhone API iPhone DB2. Then click on next. So I'm giving the Java project as same as I have given mule project name. Then click on uh, next. That's it. So this is a folder structure which is going to create. Click on finish. So this will create a sample, a uh, simple uh, mule project for us. So we need to do the implementation over here for integrating with a DB2. So let me start it here. So I'm going to take HTTP as I'm uh, going to develop like APA when the request comes it should be stored into some uh, uh, variable then it should be um, connected with the DB2 and retrieve the data so for that so I need to configure the HTTP where my endpoint should be defined so I have select I'm selecting as local host here base path as APA Click on OK. So the basic uh, settings, under the basic settings, I'm giving the uh, path as uh, db2 slash customers uh, uh, slash customer id. Okay. So I, I, yes, I missed slash here. Okay. After customers, push slash, then customer id. The customer id is a path parameter here. Okay. Then I have received that customer id. I need to store in a, some temporary place. Okay. So I'm going to store it in a, a flow variable here. So let me take variable uh, here. Variable component I have selected and I'm giving the customer ID here. So I'm going to set the variable as customer ID. Okay, this is this is a flow variable. So what value you should have? The path parameter value of the input right so which will be part of message inbound properties dot http uri parameters it is part of your uri then what is the path parameter uh, name it is a customer id so it won't be available here the uri parameters we need to put the variable name as here okay that's it so now what we need to do we have stored the variable into some temporary place that is in a flow variable then i need to do the database component from the mule palette just select the uh, database component and drag and drop into uh, the flow inside the flow okay after the variable so once it is done, go to the properties under that connection configuration, click on place. Here is we don't see the database configuration for the DB2. So we need to select generic database configuration. Okay. So now we need to give the URI for the DB2 connect. Right. So let, let me put the DB2 URL. That is the JDBC URL for me to connect to database from MuleSoft. Okay, it is a JDBC DB2 local host. My database is in local host and the uh, instance name is dpmdb and uh, user password I have given. So if you see, uh, this is the, I have connected it in a SQL uh, developer, my database that is the in dpmdb I have connected. So if you want to see the properties of this database 
let me disconnect it and uh, connect it back so that what is the how it will be connected in a SQL developer I will show manually then it will be connected using the uh, any prime shooter okay so I'm giving the password as BPM admin because it is a password is the same as username Click on ok it is connected so let me go to the properties here is BPM ad, uh, admin localhost 5000 username password okay so I have given the same details over here okay now to connect this uh, JDBC, I should have some driver, JDBC driver class name, right? So I'm just entering the JDBC class name here. I am trying to filter out, but I'm not finding anything here. Okay, so let let me uh, explain that one. We can okay to uh, pop down this one. So it to bring that uh, driver class. We should have a dependency jar that is JDBC dependency jar for uh, DB2. Here is I have in my local, I'm cutting that jar into my project. Okay, so once it is copied, it should be it will be available uh, for setting into the class path. Okay, so I'm just closing all this uh, and it is available, it is copied here. Right click on the project, select the properties under the Java build path under the libraries add jars. So, expand your project, you can see that db2 uh, uh, jcc code.jar, select that and apply it. So, now from this jar, our driver class will be available. So click on edit because of we have already edit, uh, added the configuration for the in database and you can see now this class is available under the jar which we have added because of we have added in a java build pass so it is available. So let me do the test connectivity now the test connectivity is successful okay. So now our database is connected click on ok. So now database is connected, but we want to uh, connect the database and get the data, right? So from the operations in a drop down, I'm selecting as select. So I want to retrieve the data. So I'm going to select. Okay. So then uh, type. Okay. Uh, type I'm going to select as a dynamic. So because I'm going to pass some dynamic value that is a flow variable value whatever the value I'm going to send that I'm going to do send it here so I have entered the query here select star from customers where ID is equal to whatever the ID which is stored in a customer ID which is stored in a flow variable okay right now that the flow variable that is the customer ID right so now we need to see the customers table in a database either it is available or not so as of now we don't have created yet so let me create it in a customers table in a database okay so I'm going to create a database table here so which is having ID name type and address as the uh, in uh, columns. Okay. So table customer is created successfully now. So then what we need to do? We need to have some data should be inserted. Right? We, we are trying to fetch the data. That means at least some data should be there. So I'm entering three rows of data okay uh, with the different IDs. One, two, one, 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 two, 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 two three, three, three. With that, I'm inserting the data. Three rows inserted successfully now. Then let me check either the uh, all the data is able to reach you or not. Okay, so I can do select start from the customers. So it should return. It should show all the data here. Yeah, it is inserted. Right. So now coming back to here. 
it should have my data now if i am trying to fetch so once data is retrieved it will be written uh, in a object uh, object uh, format so i want to convert that object into json format here so i'm just converting into object to json here okay that's it automatically this component will take care to convert my object into any kind of object into json format okay so let me deploy this and test it now we have done our implementation so run as new application it is going to deploy into enterprise edition of new esd server It is deployed successfully yes so now we can test this application so let me take the um, uh, open the uh, browser and meanwhile I'm going to copy this path path parameters and all so that I can build a URI okay so my local host colon at zero at one slash API slash then it is a DB2 customer and path parameter is customer id right so i'm going to replace this customer id with some id so let me take 222 i just check that in a database i'm trying to fetch 222 related data right so that's it click on enter now here in a browser okay so meanwhile if you want to check the logs you can clear the logs in a console then enter you should get a response here oh no so we got some error here so some syntax error let me go back to console and check what is the error so here is we have oh, end of syntax yeah. Okay, looks like uh, I think we kept some extra something at end of the our query, which is in a database component which we used. Okay, uh, okay, go back. Uh, let me check. Let me go it. Database selected, and then under that. Select start from customers where ID is called uh, flow variable dot customer ID. I thought it is colon missed. No. So you can see that there is a one braces. We put it extra. Okay. We don't need colon also. Just I'm removing that. Okay. So the extra braces makes us uh, some issue. Uh, just close that. Then save it. And we can ready for testing again now so automatically it will be deployed because of already it is deployed and it will be auto publish if it changes anything so again click on enter now it should give the response yes we got it now so you can see that the data has returned from the database now so that's it so it is a simple where we have database and the mini usb server any point studio which will be used for connecting with a database we use HTTP some variable component and database component and one jar is one of the important thing and converted into JSON format that's it and thank you for watching this video uh, please subscribe for more videos